everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Today we're gonna look at the Ranger 10. I love this trailer because it is only 1,300 pounds. It's 12 foot, eight inches long, and that includes the tongue. When you fold it down, and that's right, it all folds down in about 30 seconds. And I'm gonna show you that at the end, so stick with us. And once it's folded down, it's only 58 inches tall. So it is gonna fit in any garage anywhere. It's awesome. Now it's got all the basics inside. Let's head on in and take a look. Stepping inside, well, it's fine for me. I'm five foot tall. However, you might have to duck just a little bit. First thing people worry about is, can I stand up? Well, it is at the very back, about five foot tall, and in the middle, you are well over six foot here. So you do have stand up room, and that's tough to find in a 1300 pound trailer. All right, now let's take a look back here at the back. And this is what we call a double bunk. You can get one where the kitchen is on this end and you have a little larger dinette sleeper on that end. This is actually the most popular layout because you have a seating area and then another area on the other side that folds out into a bed. Now this is 30 inches wide. On the other side is gonna be 40 inches. So you have two separate sleeping areas or maybe you leave this up for seating and just one person sleeps over there. So if you're camping with two people, you might wanna look at the other setup where you get a much larger dinette over there. It's 56 inches wide. Now this sofa is really comfortable. Um, this is a nice, probably a four inch foam here. So it's comfortable. This piece is freestanding. So you just remove it when you wanna make the, bu the bunk. And you can see that it's, it's got plenty of space there. In the back here is a dormer. This dormer is an option. So you will see some of these Ranger 10s where the roof is just right here. And there is a bubble there uh, an acrylic window where I can sit comfortably. But if you're taller than me, you might really appreciate having this dormer here. We call it a soft dormer because it has canvas on the back. Now, of course you could still camp in this if you didn't open that dormer. And that would be just fine. But most of the time, you're gonna want the light, you're going to want the breeze and the headspace. So look for one with a soft dormer if you want that extra room. Of course, it's got the plastic that rolls up for a window and then the canvas that covers that up. And it has a nice light right here. All the lights in this are gonna be touch lights. They're LEDs. They've done just a nice job just a quick touch and they come on, another quick touch and they go off. That is really a nice feature. Now we don't need the lights in here because there are windows all the way around and you can see it's plenty bright. So lights really in this camper are gonna be for nighttime. Behind me, you will see that there is some fabric here. I'm gonna fold this down a bit. Some fabric right here and it's covering the hinge. I wanna talk just briefly about how this is made. It is a block foam that's pressed together, laminated to be a very hard wall, and it folds up, if I pull the Velcro off here, it folds up on piano hinges here and four steel springs in the corner. If you look in the corner, you can see that steel spring there, and that is the only moving parts on this. There is no cabling, there's no motors, that makes it very simple to operate, very simple to put up and down, and very simple to maintain. All right, they put this fabric here, not only for aesthetics, it does look nice. Velcro's right up in case you need to take it down, clean it, replace it. Some people even pull these down to make their own because they want a different decor. All of the fabric in this camper is Velcroed on, so you peel it right off and wash it, clean it, put it right back up. Great feature. They want these to be usable campers. All right, the other thing that it's gonna do is the hinge right here underneath is going to be metal. It is an aluminum framed here. 
So with all the aluminum in this, you will get a little condensation. This is going to keep that condensation in check. It's going to uh, soak it up, let it evaporate from there. I, it's just a little extra piece I like to point out. All right, storage. You do have a water heater at the end of this. It is six gallon water heater, gas, and under this there is storage. And it's accessible not only from the top underneath the seating, but as you can see down here, you've got two doors. This door flips up. You can access all that storage under there or on this other end, you pull this one to the side right by the door and you have another storage compartment there. You might have noticed it doesn't have a bathroom, but this last compartment I showed you is designed for a basic porta potty to slide in there, slide right out at night because let's face it, at night that's the time that you need it. One more thing I want to mention there, the porta potties, if you are not used to them, they come in two different sections. Most of them, the top just lifts off. The bottom is an enclosed suitcase. There is no bucket balancing act there. And you just carry it and dump it like a mop bucket into whatever toilet or dump station you want to use. They're really simple to use. They've come a long way. Nice to have right here for nighttime in this camper. And they've made a great space to just slide it in and get it out of the way. Across from the entrance door is the kitchen area. The two switches right on the front will turn on the gas water heater. It's an auto light. You don't have to light it yourself and the water pump because that is going to pump water out of the uh, 11 gallon water tank that's here. You have a fresh gallon water tank and pump it into the faucet. If you're camping at a campsite, you probably want to use your water hose to hook directly to the hydrant in which case you wouldn't need to fill the water tank and you wouldn't need to turn on the water pump. It just comes right through the faucet. One surprise feature in this camper is the refrigerator. It's right in here under this cabinet and you just pull this pin right here and this small refrigerator just rolls right out. So once you pull this out, there is your refrigerator right there with the controls. This is just a nifty, compact way to have some cold food in here. Drop that right back down, slide it in out of your way, and close that. It is just plugged in on the side, so easy to pull out and remove it if you wanted to put it somewhere else while you're camping. Next to that is going to be your furnace. Keep you very toasty in here. I mean, that furnace, this space, wow, you could camp in some serious cold weather. A little storage next to that goes all the way back to where you see the metal for the wheel well. And just above the 110 plug so that you can plug in any appliances or maybe your computer, whatever it is that you need. Now let's look up top. Two burner stove right here in the front and easy controls right here. And just next to that, the sink. And this faucet just flips up and down because remember everything in this camper has to fold down below this hinge so that you can tow it and put this camper away when you're done camping. All right. Now on the end of this cabinet, you do have the controls for the furnace. Easy to flip on and off right there. And I know what you're thinking. Where's the air conditioner? Let's look at that next. Across from the kitchen is another countertop, some storage underneath and the air conditioner controls right here on the top and that is a 5000 BTU air conditioner and so in, again in this space that's going to be plenty. Now I just want to show you a lot of you are going to be trying to figure out the height. I am five foot tall and this is the space outside of the kitchen. So once you get past the working area here see in front of the kitchen there is plenty of head space. When you step back you're going to want to sit down, but that's not a problem. You've still got plenty of space right here. These acrylic windows here, they're going to give you plenty of open feel. And I mean, you can use it for headspace if you wanted sitting here on the end. It works that way too. And it has a blackout shade right there. More storage. 
This seat right here that I'm sitting on, full storage underneath, and you can access it right from the top. Down here is another 110 plug, so you've got one on both sides. USB on the right, as well as a cigarette lighter style 12 volt plug. So everything is right here that you need. Now a little more storage is going to be underneath this countertop. Let's take a look. This top space right here, fully open underneath. It is about, I would say, 15 inches tall and below just a slightly larger space. Underneath. That is fully open, so you can make it whatever storage you need. One of the coolest things about this camper is how versatile it is. You can make it any space you want. So here is the table that of course is freestanding. So you could leave it outside. You could set it up right here for a dinette and you could leave it at home. All of those options. Uh, right here, it makes it out of the way and just behind it, you will see slats and the slats are what goes across here to make the bed. So the table isn't needed to make the bed. If you want to leave it at home, nobody's going to miss it. I mentioned that there's storage underneath this seat. On the other side, there is no storage because there's a lot of gear over there. Let's take a look at some of that. We have the converter right here in the front. That is going to be the piece of equipment that converts the shore power to battery power. And it's also going to trickle charge your battery. On the front, you'll see all the breakers and fuses right there. Easy access because when you're camping, sometimes you need those. On the left, close to the floor, is the carbon monoxide LP detector. That is standard in every camper. Be sure the green light is on and that's going to keep you safe. Before we step outside, let's talk about airflow in this camper because you have opening windows here, opening windows here in the door and on the side and you've got this huge open area here that breeze is going to blow through here because this camper is really good at camping off the grid maybe someplace outside of a campsite where you may not have access to shore power which means you can't run that ac if that's the case you've got all this airflow and you've got a high powered fan above you that's going to create a breeze on the inside and make it really comfortable in here. All right, there is so much more to see. Stick with us. We're heading outside. Stepping out, let me show you really quickly. Right here is an entrance light. If you're heading inside at night, you've got a switch. Turn on your little night light right there and you can see where you're going. Because this is like the tiny home version of an A-liner, it's really great for camping anywhere. You might need some extra light. All right, let's take a look around. 110 plugs right here. Of course, there's always party lights or something you might want to plug in for that outside space. Patio light right there. And let's look at this. Once you set up your camper, you may want to put on the high wind bar. Now, this high wind kit is what they call it. And it's very simple to do. This stays on the side. If you want to engage it, you pull it out, take it over to this side and pin it in. Now that is going to hold both roof panels together so there is no movement. The thing that's holding all of this together, not only is the piano hinges and the four springs that I told you about, but there are bungee cords up at the top to keep this roof tight together and this is going to be sure that it can't pull apart even if the wind is just in the right place a lot of people concerned about leaks you know what i will tell you right here on camera sometimes you might see a little light through the corners of this but there are these extrusions all the way around so the water isn't running straight up but because it is such a simple build Great for maintenance, great for keeping it uh, in pristine condition, but all of that simple mechanisms make it not fit perfectly tight sometimes because these fiberglass panels are going to be expanding, they're going to be contracting, uh, the, the frame may not be set just exactly the way it was, maybe it's not perfectly level. Don't worry about that, you're not going to have any water coming into this, and it's aluminum framed, it's an awesome 
way to camp and a great investment if you want to keep your camper long term. Let's keep going around. Um, AC, of course, right here. And this compartment down below is going to lead right into that space underneath the seat. At the very back is where you've got one seat that's got full storage. The other side, no storage at all because that's where your gear, your appliances, your electronics are. So access from here and from on top of that bench seat. In the back, spare tire here, of course, and stabilizer jacks on all four corners. I love the diamond plate on the back. That is gonna keep any of the road debris or any rocks that might fly up from damaging your camper. Now on this side, the connection for the shore power, of course, if you are in a campsite, and the fresh water connection right here. This is where you'd hook to the hydrant. It's gonna come right out your faucet. If you wanna fill that fresh water tank, right here, and the furnace outlet for keeping you warm. AC on the other side, furnace on this side. This is one of the things that I think is so great about this camper. You can set up a shower tent on the outside and inside here, you're gonna have the shower head hot and cold. So you could have a really nice shower because your water heater is right next to it. The plug is standard here and this is for plugging in a portable solar panel. If you wanted to camp somewhere other than a campsite that has shore power, then you can plug in that portable solar panel and it's gonna automatically charge your batteries. So everything on this camper will work except for the air conditioner. So camp in the cool part of the winter, the fall, the spring, maybe even summer if you're up north and you can go anywhere, camp anywhere and have everything on here working, even that refrigerator. All right, right up front, this is where the propane bottle will go and obviously the battery, all set up by your dealer right here. Again, the diamond plate on the front is a really nice feature. This is where you're gonna get most of the rocks kicked up and it's also where all those bugs are gonna be. So you can scrub it off right here. You know, the simplicity of the A-Liner is part of its charm. It is, like I said, under 13 feet long, and it is easy to tow. It has all the basics that you need. So if you're looking for something small, lightweight, that fits in your garage, I don't know, this might be it. And let's not forget, it sets up in like, I don't know, one minute? Really? Yeah, it does, let me show you.